Okay, I don't know if you can hear me, the wind's pretty high right now, but this is, these are some of the tools I use for filming. I have a tripod right here. This extends this rotator. I want to say this was about $15. It's really an expensive way to film. If you're going to do still filming, then you can collapse it together, make a selfie stick out of it. I've had that for a couple years now, and uh, it's worked, it's worked really well for a lot of my videos, but this is my new selfie stick that I use to film with. It's a lot more rigid. Also goes a lot longer. Let's see if I can do this one in it. Here, how about this? How about we'll just put you guys right there on the tripod. You can see it for yourselves. Let go. There we go. And maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. Okay. Yeah, so it gets a whole lot longer. So you can film very down low without hurting your back or having to bend over too far. Works out pretty good. Now, a common mistake people make when filming their RC videos, one, they don't have a selfie stick, so they try and film with their hand. And your arm can only get so low. And here's the thing, if you film from this angle, it looks like a toy. It, it just doesn't, it's not an appealing angle can't really get close-ups, especially while you're trying to drive and be in a course at the same time. It's just, it doesn't work as good. So the first thing you guys got to think about is what angle works best for the truck. Now you can get with your hand, I'm freehanding right now, but you get down low like that, that changes the perspective of how the truck looks. Definitely looks a lot better down low. Like I said before, $15 investment for a selfie stick is well worth it because I'm practically on my knees right now filming and I have very little control over the phone. Okay, now you guys are in the selfie stick. You can see a whole lot more control I have over the camera. I don't have to bend down. I don't have to do any crazy things with my body and just stand here with the selfie stick and worry about driving. Try and keep the phone far enough away to where if I want to zoom in I can but I don't overshoot anything. Another big tip to filming is you absolutely need to learn how to drive with one hand. You need to get a thumb piece, get you one of those, makes the world a difference. Just takes practice to learn your finger control and yes I can drive better with two hands but then you guys won't get to see. Okay, so this is an outside look at what I'm doing, how I'm filming, kind of my technique or my style. I'm not actually going to film with the phone I'm putting in the selfie stick right now. The, the highest resolution that one can film at is 720p and I don't do that anymore. Now we're 1080 or better. I'm showing you the one-handed control. Trying to keep the camera down low. Trying to keep my arms stable while I'm filming. Checking your path. It's important to see where you're walking also. I've fallen over many times while I'm filming. That's, that's really it. That's the technique. That's where the magic happens.
So, personally, I think talking videos are kind of boring, so let's make some mud.